I'm going to do a quick demo on how to build an SSO bot using Teams. So quick intro, what you'll need before we jump directly into the demo. First off, you'll need, of course, your Teams. So if you haven't, check out aka.ms forward slash your Teams. And then, of course, you will need an Azure bot service instance. So you will, get, you will need to go to the Azure portal and create one. And obviously, you'll need to register an Azure AD app uh, registration in order to make sure that SSO is working. But I will skip the slides and jump directly into the demo. So I'm in the Azure portal as of now, and this is my Azure bot. And I'm directly on the configuration pane because if you register a new Azure bot, all you need to do is basically insert a, a valid messaging endpoint. So in my case, it's basically pointing to my ng-rock, which is running locally. And the next thing you will need is you will need to add a new OAuth connection setting with the service provider Azure AD version 2. And in there, um, you'll basically need to refer to another Azure AD app registration, which will then may be making sure that your single sign-on will be working. And all you need to do in there is enter client ID, enter the client secret of that uh, Azure AD app rec. Then you'll need to point the token exchange rule URL to whatever you have in, inserted in your uh, Azure AD app, and we'll come to that in a second. And obviously, you will need to refer to the scopes you want to uh, include in your Azure AD uh, OAuth connection setting. And the way the Azure AD app rec looks like is the following. So uh, we have a pretty basic Azure AD app registration. In there, first off, you'll need to make sure that under authentication, the redirect URI um, for your Ad Azure AD app is pointing to token.botframic.com because otherwise your bot won't be able to uh, sign the users in. And you'll need to make sure that you have access tokens and ID tokens enabled. And then next up, all you need to do is you'll need to select which API permissions you want to include um, in your Azure AD app registration. So for the sake of the demo, we have calendars.read, mail.read, um, we have offline access, uh, op open ID profile, and so on and so forth. And the next thing, and this is the, uh, one of the most important things in here, you'll need to make sure, and I'll make sure that the Azure mask will be toggled off. You'll need to make sure that you have configured a valid application ID URI, URI which is pointing to API uh, column forward slash uh, bot ID dash, and that's basically um, the application ID of your Azure AD app registration. And then you need to make sure that you add the scopes in there so um, that the, the Azure AD app will be uh, taking care of um, the content. And you'll need to make sure that the client applications for Teams, which is um, Teams web and desktop and Teams mobile, will also be added to your uh, API exposure because otherwise you won't be able to use single sign-on in Teams Mobile or Teams Desktop or Web. And in order to build a bot using Yo Teams, um, what you'll need to do basically, and I won't go through the whole um, scaffolding of the project, is you need to download Yo Teams via npm install. Um, then you need to execute in your favorite command line Yo Teams. You'll need to make sure that you select um, a bot as a type for your uh, your Teams application um, and give it a name, give it a title. Uh, and select the, the other features you want to include in your project. And that's mainly it. And then you will be getting a new Teams application wherever you have, um, wherever you've added it on your, on your local disk. Um, and it will first off basically uh, have a .env file. And in that .env file, all you need to do is you need to add the Microsoft app ID and app password for your Azure bot. And you also need to make sure that you refer to your SSO uh, OAuth connection name, which is in my case, SSO AAD. And if I'll switch back to my Azure portal for a sec, this is the same name we have configured on our Azure port uh, OAuth connection setting. So that's the name you need to make, you need to enter in there. And in the manifest, you need to uh, also add token.botframework.com under your valid domains, because otherwise you won't be able to redirect uh, to token.botframic.com for authenticating the user. And you need to make sure that the web application info is also set to the resource, uh, which is app API uh, bot ID dash whatever your Microsoft app ID is. Otherwise, it won't be working. 
And then we basically have our bot uh, class in there. So we have a PMP SSO bot, uh, which extends the dialogue bot. So that's pretty default. Um, all you need to add in there is you need to make sure that you handle signing events using handle team signing token exchange and handle teams sign in verified state because otherwise it won't be able to handle uh, the token exchange between your bot and Azure AD. And then we obviously, uh, and I've before I jump into the demo, I have created a new dialogue. So within the main dialogue, what we basically do is we have a lot of steps in there. And for the sake of simplicity, we have added a new case whenever we want to deal uh, or jump into a new dialogue. So um, mention me, get help, and who am I are the default dialogues if you're using a new version of your teams, which are um, in there by default. And I've added a new case for um, connecting to the graph, where I basically just want to make sure to begin a new dialogue. And the new dialogue name is user profile dialogue. And the way this dialogue looks like is um, actually pretty similar to what the main dialogue looks like. But we incorporate, first of all, our SSO connection name. So we'll be able to use it in a SSO OAuth prompt in here. So we basically refer to the ENV file and get the connection name from there. And then kick off a new SSO OAuth prompt within the first step of that dialogue. So basically, whenever you uh, begin that dialogue, the first step is be to be run the, the OAuth step. And the OAuth step basically just handles the authentication. So if the user is already been authenticated, this step will be skipped. Um, if the user is not authenticated, the bot will make sure to grab the token from Azure AD um, without the user uh, needing to input something. And then we get, basically go to the next step, which is uh, the last step for this dialogue. And within that step, we basically connect to the Microsoft Graph using the Microsoft Graph client. We'll hand over the token we got from the previous step, so the Azure AD Bureau token. And then we do a bunch of things within the graph, like getting the current user um, or getting the most recent emails. And I hope is going to work with a brand new demo user. So I have a brand new user in here which who has never talked to my bot. And for the sake of the demo, I will upload the already pre-built manifest for that bot. So the PNP SSO bot, the zip file it contains the manifest as well as the two icons. I will add that to my Teams client or Teams web client. And OK, we see that I have already used that bot somewhere. Um, doesn't matter. But if I now go ahead and say, for instance, let me check if the bot is working. Mention me. I'll see. And I have my bot running on my local host. Good, now it's working. Um, if I now type in graph, we basically go through the main dialogue. Um, in there, we see, OK, um, the user has entered graph. Uh, and then we need to jump to the user profile dialogue. And in there, we see, basically, the user doesn't need to authenticate. Um, so you're already authenticated with that user. We get the user's um, display name. We get the user's user principal name. And we also get the user's most recent email. And if I now jump back to Visual Studio Code, and I've prepared a new send activity to grab also the event for that specific user uh, and then send out the events. We'll make sure that the bot has been reloaded on my end. And if I now go back to the Teams client, enter graph again, we will see that we get the same um, message as before, username, then we get um, the most recent emails, and we don't get the uh, Obviously, I've, of course, not entered any events for this specific user. So I need to switch to another one. And there we see we get the username, we get the most recent emails, and we get the next events, which is PNP call a demo SSO bot from directly from Graph without me to ever need to log in because that's already done by the bot and handled by the bot automatically because we are already authenticated in Teams, and the bot basically just grabs the token from Teams or from Azure AD and reuses that in order to go to the graph. Um, and obviously, you could then extend uh, that specific scenario to go to any other API you would like to. 
if you have the Azure AD token and, and, and if you can exchange the token for something else for that API, you should be good to go and implement SSO for either a web application you'd like to. And with that, I'd like to point you to at least some resources. Um, that's the whole thing I've shown you is uh, available under the Microsoft Learn module, which has been done by AC most, uh, most uh, of the time. So check that out. Um, it's pretty well documented what you need to do on the Azure side as well as on the bot side. So if you just follow the tutorial, you should be good to go and you should have your SSO based bot up and running within a couple of minutes. And the same is true for tabs. So if you'd like to do an SSO tab, there's also a module or a path for fulfilling that as well. And with that, back to you, David. Awesome. That is excellent stuff, Stephen. Very, very cool stuff and uh, really shows how speedy you can get a bot up and running immediately. So thank you for presenting that. Excellent job. Mm -hmm.